All right, everyone. Big guy here again. Say, so, yeah, I know you've heard and seen some of this on videos on the Internet, probably seen it in real life where people have shut down highways to do drifting and some drag racing on the highways. You know, it's organized. It's illegal, but they do it. They try to do so much in so much time to win bets or just to drag race for fun or just to do drifting and they go in circles and circles, not only on the highways, but in the city streets, this and whatnot. I've, where I live, I've seen plenty of tire marks and I say, yeah, they're doing it here too. Over in Chicago, they're doing it, you know. But see, the problem is these idiots, and I call them idiots because they go too far. Now, if you did it once in a blue moon, that's one thing. But these people have been doing it so much, it's drawn so much attention. And here's two good reasons. You're shutting down highways and bagging up traffic for miles, you know. And people who need to get to where they need to get to, they may be low on fuel, this, that, and the other. And they sitting out there not knowing what's going on because some kids or young people, or even some older people, want to have fun on the highway and drag race and do drifting in certain parts, and then they'll take off when the cops come. So the other thing was, sometimes they're going so fast and speeding, they're having accidents and killing people. And there's another thing that I'm going to bring up, too, or based off of that, people being killed. But let's stick back with the drifting. Now, people drift, I understand. People do this, they do that. I understand, hey. But when it comes down to the highways and the freeways and even the tow roads, what you're doing is illegal. And now that they've done it so much across America, these policing agents or a different type of policing like the FBI and um, Highway Patrol and even your local police, well, they finally got together and they made a task force now to catch these individuals who are doing this stuff so they can take their cars and lock them up. See, it's like like the old saying goes, when too many people are messing up a good thing, how it turns rotten and everybody else will be affected by it. Yeah, well, that's what happened. These idiots have been doing too much of this, shutting down highways, shutting down major streets at, at traffic lights and any other place that they could do this drifting. And now the law is on your butt. Now what they're going to start doing is catching a lot of these people with these souped up, hopped up cars that were built for drifting and some hot rods. And they're going to start taking people's cars away. And the people the cops got you. You can't say it wasn't you because you on video. You can't say you weren't there because of the video. And they're looking at how long these people are shutting down these streets to do this. You know? Drag racing, some of these other YouTubers have make, been making uh, drag racing videos in certain parts of California. I've been watching them. You know, I thought it was cool how they find a kind of desolate road with too many people ain't on it. And they hook up the road, man. They, they, they lay down all the stuff that you need to make the street sticky so these guys can hit it and hook and book. Oh, I thought that was I thought that was the best, man. I said, oh, man, I love how they did that, you know. However, when you're taking it to the stream that too many fools get involved and do stupid stuff, that something good could turn into something bad so quickly, not even overnight, within minutes, and you got chaos and major problems. These drifters have gone too far. And if you don't understand what drifting is here, I got two clips I want to show you right now so you get a good idea of what's going on.
as you can see, that type of drifting, yeah, that's what that's the big craze. It's nothing new. But you can see in those two clips that that is in a controlled area with safety barriers all the way around and plenty of space for those guys to drift like that and enjoy and everybody got to watch and enjoy. That's enjoyable. You know, it's safe. Everybody can watch and record. You know, you got something in between you and the cars, you know. But when they shut down major streets and highways to do this, it becomes very intolerable by the policing and the government officials. Also, people have a strong chance of getting hurt. Because think about it. When those idiots stop to take off and leave, then you get all this traffic back up, trucks and cars and some motorcycles. When that traffic starts to move, and you know how people are, they want to get somewhere because they get somewhere fast. And they don't realize what's going on in the middle of the pack and the back of the pack. Now, everybody's trying to speed to get because they'd lost, what, a half hour, 45 minutes. And they're trying to speed because they think it's an accident or some road construction. They think it's the police stopping traffic. They don't know. And that causes accidents right there within the crowd of people in cars behind all of this illegal drifting. Here's another thing I'm going to bring up. <clears throat> Now, which is really upsetting me because those of us who want to go to car meets out in the streets and whatnot, this task force that for what I understand that they're putting together, they're going to target these street meets now. And they're going to consider it all illegal racing. This is what really boils my blood, because although I like to see these cars out in the streets, especially if you go up to Dream Cruise up in Detroit, you want to be able to see these different cars, these beautiful, marvelous hot rods and custom cars going and coming and parking. And you want to be able to see them and take pictures and talk to some of the owners, this, that, and the other. You love this. But when these idiots are making it that bad to where you can't have something like Dream Cruise, which I'm pretty sure the people of Detroit, Michigan, and the people of Michigan ain't going to allow it to become illegal. They're, they'll fight that. You know, not to the point where you can't have Mustang Alley because of some drift, drifters. Now, that's crazy. But other people in different places of the United States of America are having places where they line up cars and park them and show them off and this, that, and the other. You know, when it gets to that point where the authorities will start screwing with those people because of these idiots, I am totally against the illegal uh, drifting and drag racing on the highways and streetways. Because now you bring the heat down on everybody else and it's so unnecessarily stupid. Stupid individuals do this with a passion and they don't care about the results or the consequences. All they care about is having that instant fun without any type of repercussions. And this is why I say if these fools do this, and, oh, but let, let, let me stop. Uh, they do it, but... When they have some of them, when they've been having these street meets, they've been doing the flybys. OK, showing off the speed and power of the car and up hitting pedestrians on the side of the streets because they lost control. Some of these people end up with major injuries or some not as bad, but some people have been getting killed. And the police and the authorities are looking at this. They, they're going to shut it down and, this, and see what's going to happen. The cost of losing your car. If you kill somebody, vehicular manslaughter and everything else is going to come into play, they're going to start giving people way more time for this. In order to control it and stop it, you'll be getting more time. You know, and even if they find you having a car meet out there and you guys are having a good time, they're going to come shut it down and kick everybody out. And they dare you to do any type of speeding in, uh, in any type of rebellious way. So they're going to take your cars. You know, and when the police start taking more and more cars, people are going to get angry and they're going to complain. But you got to look at the source. What, were you complaining when these idiots were shutting down the highways? Were you complaining when they were shutting down the street race and drag racing and drifting? You should have been turning them people in. Is what they're going to say. Because what they were doing was illegal. And these flybys have been getting people killed. Not only the driver of the car, but innocent people and other cars or at your average Joe just as a standby, just looking on. And here comes a Camaro or a Mustang or a Corvette or a Dodge Charger Challenger or some type of foreign car flying out of control and clips you, either paralyze you 
or kills you. That's why they got this task force now to shut down all this illegal activity across the nation. And the more they watch these videos, the more they, they look at people at people with these bigger channels saying, well, it's time to go to Mexico. We can show you what the car can do is when they're going to be watching more and more and getting many license plates as they can. And even with the YouTuber, if they catch that fool out there, whoever it may be, going to Mexico and doing well over 100 some miles, per hour, you're done. They're coming after you. They're coming after your car. And they're going to help help every, whoever they can to shut. Yeah, they're going to come down to shutting down your channel. That's what it's going to boil down to. <clears throat> it's amazing what's going on and how people are so vividly being that stupid. But people are going to be people. And followers are going to follow the monkey. You know. And monkey see, monkey do. Until it all gets shut down. You know, but other people are going to pay the price. Well, that's all I got to say. I just wanted to share this all with you. Um, be careful out there on the highways and the streetways and the freeways, tollways, wherever, because you got plenty of idiots. And for some reason, their brains are turned off and their feet are trying to press down on the pedal to do a thousand miles per hour, weaving in and out of traffic. And they don't think that their butts are made of flesh. They think they're made of steel. And they're willing to do all this stupid stuff, even at the risk of costing you your life along with theirs. So please be careful. We'll talk again. You all have a wonderful day. Take care. Mm -hmm.